Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Different Blokes with Me. I'm Ives Mick. Uh, right, tonight I've got two two stories for us. Uh, the first one, uh, they, but they're not old stories. Um, they're just updated stories, we'll call them. Okay, the first one is um, Mr. Sunak. Yes, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. He's at it again, the crafty so-and-so. Yeah, he's doing a deal with India. Um, and everyone's actually screaming that this is not correct. Uh, because he stands to make millions out of it again. Uh, a bit like the five million made from the tractors that were sold to the Russians when they shouldn't be selling anything to the Russians. <coughs> and... Um, the other deal he did with the uh, gas and the electric with his father-in-law's uh, account. So he's out to make money again for himself. This time, third time lucky. Um, he's out this time to make a nice big deal involving his father-in-law's company in India uh, who's going to have a main, main issue with getting people into this country, bringing people in. So, yeah, uh, and a lot of people aren't happy about it. I'm not very happy about it either. After the first time, he should have been arrested. The second time, definitely should have been had for uh, capitalising and make, make him, make him um, illicit funds out of the job that he was paid for. The third time, something's got to be done now. Right. Uh, I wouldn't mind if he was actually an elected uh, Prime Minister. He isn't. Not one person in the United Kingdom has ever voted him into power. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell a little story about British history. Now, the British history is quite easy. For nearly a thousand years, we've never been invaded successfully. Not since the Normans came. Uh, and then after that, we had a couple of, couple of, couple of people tried and failed. Um, but during all that time, we had lots of like mini civil wars and we had uh, our laws were adapted, you know, like the Magna Carta and the great charters and things like this. And our laws were changed and made into uh, a total democracy. Now, most of the democracies in the world actually function similar to the British democracy, uh, similar to the British Parliament. So, it's a proven, tested method. It does work. It may not be perfect, but not, not a lot of these things are perfect in the world. Now, one of the biggest things is democratic votes and democracy. Now, when it goes hay haywire in the United Kingdom, things really go... Bizarre. The last time was when uh, Charles I uh, was actually ruling the United Kingdom. And uh, it ended up with a civil war. Now, at the end of the civil war, one in four men were actually killed in the country. They thought, that's how big. If we're going to go for it, we're going to go for it. Um, and Parliament took power. The king lost his head, literally. And f now, when Parliament took power, these men decided again they were sat in the house of lords and the house of commons that uh, they wanted to make some money out of it now this one of the guys who was very instrumental in the civil war now i'm not going to debate whether good bad or indifferent i know the guy was bad so let's just put it like that without going into too much of his history oliver cromwell walked into the house of parliament saw what was happening and dismissed all the mps and had them thrown out physically from um, the House of Parliament. And he took power for 10 years as High, High Chancellor, as a, as a ruler of the United Kingdom. <coughs> Excuse me, but it was cold still. Now, at the end of that 10 years, uh, he passed away, and the United Kingdom decided that it wanted a king back. Hence, you can be a, a loyalist or a parliamentarian, it doesn't really matter. It's been proved in the past that a king was popular, and he is sort of like, popular, uh, you know, Take him or leave him. I, I personally am a loyalist, but that's that's be it or near. That's nothing to do with anything at the moment. Now, what I'm saying is this. Now, what's not told is that all the people who signed the death penalty for the king, for the first king, King Charles I, yeah, all of those came to a sticky end. It wasn't you have to dig through the history to find out exactly what happened to all these people, but there was a comeuppance to them. Because they, they sort of like went against different things. But f since that period, uh, we actually have had not that much trouble. So now we'll come to present day. We have a parliament that is lying in its own pocket. Now you see the similarity. Now, what I'm saying is that that cannot be allowed to happen. So the good people in parliament 
are going to have to do something because you are there by vote from the people of the United Kingdom to make sure that people aren't lining their pocket at our expense. This winter, which I'm going to come to in a minute, is possibly going to be one of the worst winters the United Kingdom has experienced in an awful long time. This means that our old people, our people that are on the street, there is a great potential for them to pass away due to, because of extreme cold. It is your job, not privilege. It is your job to go and make sure those people are all right. If you are more worried about lining your own pockets, please resign and let somebody step into your place that will do the job. Now, for those who, for most people, know that the Tories next year you're going to be going. You, you've just robbed us blind. The country's had enough of you. If you watched Mr. Sunak's speech in Newark the other night, if you looked at the faces behind uh, the gentleman in purple in the, in the factory, there wasn't one smiley face there. They were, oh God, we've got to listen to him drivel. That's what they were saying. I know the people of Newark very well. So I went over there nearly every weekend when I was growing up. I know them. I know what they're thinking. They're like me. They're thinking, oh, did we have to listen to this rubbish? He thinks we're doing us a favour. If you're going to do us a favour, first of all, get your facts right about all the tra tra trains and things like that. A lot of those lines are already there. So you're not even bothered. You're not even trying to be a Prime Minister. You're just try concentrating on lining your own pocket now, mate. Get out. So as for Kubla Khan down in London, <coughs> same again. You've had your chance. You've fluffed it. You've done nothing but annoy the rest of the people. On your bike, it's time for you to go and all. Now, these jobs, it is not... If you're voted in, it is an honour to represent your people. To go into Parliament and do the best you can for them. You're not doing it. So it's time to pull your finger out of your behind and get on with the job you were paid for. Right. Second thing... Sorry, I've whinged on there a bit. Right. Second thing is this. This winter, I've already given warning out about uh, America's had their first snows of the of the year. We're going to get it as well. Uh, now, the forecasts, if you want to go through any one of your forecasts you want, some are looking at more, some are less, but they're saying it could be minus 10 degrees more more than it would normally. So if it's normally like three, minus 3, minus 4 when you wake up in the morning, it might be 13, it might be 14 if it gets bad like it was six years. Years ago, that's minus 25. That's going to kill people. So what I'm saying to you, and I've already given warning out previously, please go get yourself hats, scarves, jackets. Get them cheap. Go down to charity shop, whatever. Be prepared. Yeah, Get yourself some candles. Get yourself a cooking stove. Just be prepared. It's a long time since this country has seen bad weather. I remember seeing it as a kid. So I'm just warning everyone, make sure grandma and granddad's okay. Yeah. It's going to be a struggle for everyone this year with these bills and everything like that. Uh, they've, they've absolutely annihilated everybody. Right. That's all I've got to say. It has been a warning, so please take it as that. Normally I'm laughing and joking, but I thought I'd best just voice my opinion for a change. All right, I hope you've had a lovely night. If you'd like to see some more, normally do the space and things like that. Space will be the next one. Um, push the subscribe, push the bell. And it'll tell you when the next one's on. Sorry I haven't been on here for, I think it's over a week now. I've just been so poorly. All right, take it easy. I'm getting back on my feet and uh, we'll catch you all later. Ta-da.